PDO operates more than 7,000 wells, spread over a huge geographical area. The complex task of providing the information to remotely operate these wells is performed by the real-time operations team, RTO. Staff on the coast and in the field collaborate to analyze well performance issues that have been automatically detected by the RTO systems. We call this exception-based surveillance. In this example, an ESP well is operating in upthrust condition, potentially damaging for the pump. The decision is to reduce the speed of the pump and plan for a replacement. Once the replacement pump is installed at the well site, the supervisor in NIMA gathers the details and enters them into the RTO portal, the well name, the artificial lift type and other specifics of the equipment. From this, the RTO systems can determine what data is available and how to retrieve it. A Smartfields Assist Desk agent reviews the request and, if all is OK, hits the Add Well button. This automatically configures the well in the RTO systems, a process that used to require several days of manual effort and was extremely error-prone. The first application built is the data collection layer, called OPC, which communicates with the wells over the broadband radio network, gathering all the data necessary to operate our wells. Having gathered the data, it makes it available to several other applications, such as the well management system. LOIS provides the real-time control, surveillance and optimization of our wells. It can start or stop wells remotely, change the speed and detect well performance changes in real time. It has a virtual model of each well which calculates the theoretical well performance every few minutes, dramatically faster than the monthly well test or the annual well review. PDO have also built analytical pattern recognition for ESP wells to detect broken motor shaft, increase in reservoir pressure, etc. Using the lean approach to ESP operations with LOIS has delivered tremendous value for PDO, with almost 4,000 BOPD gained in less than nine months. It's enabling us to detect the problems as soon as they start to develop and to guide these people outside to go exactly where they need to go and what exactly they need to do. So we can just shut it down, let's say a number of 50 wells, just pressing over one button only, and we can have all the system down. If you're a doctor, you need an MRI and you need a test, yeah? So Lewis for me is like a MRI for me. So like a specialized tool for in well analysis and well diagnosis. Tool will give you the full information about the subsurface bone performance. Based on that, you can decide what sort of optimization needs to, need to be done. Another user of the OPC data is the Corporate Data Historian, PI, which has been storing data since 2001 and now contains data for 1.1 million measurements that are collected every minute. This adds up to more than 1 billion values every day. Truly big data! This wealth of data will provide the foundation of real-time analytics as PDO move into the arena of predictive and prescriptive analytics using data mining, neural networks and other machine learning techniques. At the top level, the RTO portal Nibras is the user interface, the visualization and workflow management layer. Easily accessed, this puts the information at the fingertips of anyone using a PDO desktop. So we use Nibras every day, so there is standardized the way we manage our wells, we um, optimize our wells, uh, we also detect failures a lot faster. The journey of the data is complete, from its origin at a downhole sensor, through the complex distributed network of components, its conversion in data modeling and analytics, to final presentation as the information needed to make informed decisions about how to optimize the performance of the well. Petroleum Development Oman, proud to serve Oman.